important. Crate training can prevent a lot of problems, particularly with housebreaking and also with destructive chewing. Getting your dog used to the crate is not hard, and by keeping your dog confined when you can't watch them, you can really cut down on a lot of behaviors that are pretty problematic for most puppy owners. This is Monty, he's a five month old French Bulldog, and he's basically going to be going into this crate, we're gonna put a cookie on his nose, and we're just gonna go ahead and dump it in the crate. As you can see, he's comfortable going in. If your dog isn't super comfortable going in, don't push them in the crate and don't force them. We want them to enjoy going into the crate. Good boy. Once your dog is going in and out of the crate pretty comfortably, you can close the door. One, two, three. Good boy, Monty. Okay, good. I don't give him a cookie for coming out of the crate. I only give him a cookie for going in. One, two, three. Good boy. Now, it's a good idea to use a word like kennel or crate or go to bed. And you can teach your dog, go to your kennel means go and stay in your crate. A crate is a great thing to have around the house because your puppy may need breaks and might need some nap time. And so when they get overworked, good idea to put them in the crate. Good job, Mike. This is Jamie Van Wy at the Zoom Room for Puppy Tickle.